What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're checking out the Going Gear EDC Club Premium Subscription for March of 2024. There are two tiers to this subscription. Your standard, which is $60 a month and gets you two to five EDC items, or you can upgrade to the premium, which is what I subscribe to. That one's $140 more, $200 total. That gets you everything in your standard box, plus at least one additional, what they consider to be premium EDC item. Now, I was super excited for this month's box because although it was a couple of days delayed, they posted to their Instagram story the reason for the delay was they actually had to get some bigger packaging and they post a picture of that box. And so I knew we were gonna get something different than we've ever seen in the box before because it was a bigger box than we've ever seen before. So definitely excited to dive in. We'll start with the standard as usual, got everything out of the packaging so you don't have to watch me fumbling with that. And so we'll start with the standard, jump over to the premium at the end. So first item in our standard box is the American flag patch. And honestly, this feels like a bit of a throw-in, although they are assigning a value of $4.99 to it. And so that is eating up some of our value. Now, I'm not going to judge it too harshly. It's an American flag patch. And if you don't have one, cool to see in there. This one has the high-vis yellow border. And it's not taking up too, too much value overall. But it does feel like the patches that you get when you buy a pouch or a backpack with a hook and look loop panel and they want to throw in a free patch you always get something like this so not super exciting but not going to judge it too harshly either now next up is our second of three items and this is going to be kind of our mid tiered item in terms of value the qsp otter and qsp always is a great value for the money this one is no exception valued at 43 dollars and that's actually what they sell it on their site for, so they don't actually inflate these prices or anything like that. Really great looking knife, I love the design of it. It's pretty compact. Overall, sheep's foot style blade with 14C28N and green micarta scales. Not sure if we'll see other colors of micarta in the different boxes. Sometimes we do see other colors, but it will be the same items for sure. And so really great knife, it's a flipper with ball bearings on it. And so really snappy action, super smooth, nice shake shut action on it, feels great in hand. Let's take a look at the info card that they ship these with and that'll give us a little bit more details on the sizing. So 6.5 inches overall, 2.7 inches on the blade, 3.8 inch handles. You can also see the different handle options, micarta, G10, and carbon fiber. Although we may get different colors, very unlikely that we'll see any of the other handle options in the boxes. There's also an upgraded steel option, S35BN. I would assume they probably pair that with the carbon fiber, just kind of based on my history with QSP. And so, cool knife overall, $43, definitely feels like a win in the standard box. Now, next item, the last item for our standard, I think might be a little bit controversial, at least for me, it is. And so I first saw the envelope and I saw Stroop knives. I was really excited, assumed it was gonna be a premium item because Stroop knives are not inexpensive. I don't have any yet, but I know that they're usually $200 or more. I think they probably have some in the $150 range, but still not inexpensive knives. You can see they're veteran owned and operated Fort Bragg, North Carolina and made in USA. So I think worth the price point. However, we did not get one of their normal models of knives. You can see MSRP here is $64.99. So what they actually sent over was the Stroop Knives Ultra Light Non-Metallic Dagger. And this has a Kydex sheath and there's this clip on it that's mounted with a plastic screw and bolt. So that's even non-metallic. So this will get through a metal detector, won't get through x-ray, but if you need to sneak something past a metal detector, I guess this is the way you'd go. Now the penalties for that are probably the same as if you brought a metal knife through the metal detector. So may not be worth it, but obviously do what you want. And so this is made out of Zytel. You can see no blade on here. It's a blunt edge. This is basically a tactical poking tool and I believe it's modeled after one of their actual models with that which is pretty cool but the reason I think this is somewhat controversial and the reason I'm not super stoked on it is this this is valued at $64.99. Now I have a cold steel Zytel dagger, obviously different handle shape, but same materials, dagger shape as well, that I picked up on Amazon for I think $8 and some change a couple years ago. Now that one's made in Taiwan, this one's made in the USA, and also based off of one of their designs. Now does that make it worth 
six times or more the cost of that cold steel dagger. To me, it doesn't. And so it definitely feels like an overpriced item, even though that's what they actually sell for. Even on the Stroop Knives website, it is comfortable in hand. That handle feels great. If you have the actual model of this, you can use this as a trainer as well. But it's just not something I'm going to ever carry. It's a cool novelty item that I would probably pay $25 for, and I think it would be really neat at that price point. But it's $65, it just feels like something I don't really need and is eating up so much of the value of our standard box. And so let me know in the comments if this is a controversial item for you or if you think it's worth that price point and are happy receiving this in the standard box. But that does bring our standard value all the way up to $112.98, which is great value when you consider that you pay $60 for this box. A little bit less so if you, like me, think this is maybe a $25 item, in which case we're getting you know, $75 or $80 worth of value. And so it does feel like a little bit of a miss on the standard box for me this month. Although I love this QSP Otter, everything else is just kind of mad to me and doesn't feel like I got more than what I paid for in the standard box. But let's see if we can redeem that with the premium box, which has two items this month. So first up, we'll start with the less expensive once again the Spyderco stock buoy and this has a kydex sheath as well with that g-clip on it Spyderco logo on the g-clip and the knife itself is an incredible design i absolutely love this i've never seen it before but it has that buoy design with the finger choil here incredibly thin as well and just fits your hand perfectly it felt amazing the first time i put it in my hand now this does ship separate or it's in the same box but they're packaged separately not in the sheath and so first time I slid it in there I could not get it back out I had to loosen the screws on that g-clip in order to make this kind of loose enough for tension to put that in and out and so that's the only downside I may actually see if I can commission a leather sheath for this because I think it's a really cool knife I'd love to carry it more maybe something slim with a pocket clip on it so I can just pocket drop this and in, into that sheath now this is a made in China model for Spyderco it's not their Taiwan USA or Maniago produce ones. It is a China model. So this feels like an item that maybe could have gone in the standard box. When you consider we have 8CR 13 MOV, pretty comparable to our 14C28N on the QSP. And this is valued at $75. So if it were shuffled around a little bit, we might have been able to get this in a standard box. But don't really mind seeing it here either, because it's paired with another item, which definitely the value is there. And I love the design of it. Really excited to have it. So whether it came in the standard or premium doesn't matter that much to me. But if you're subscribed to the standard it may be disappointing seeing this instead of this in the standard or in the premium instead of the standard which you get these droop knives but either way really really great design i'm actually going to read this one just to see a little bit more information about it the letter that they include here so the stock buoy is a creation of dutch artist and i'm going to butcher this name Sjord stock s-j-o-e-r-d stock is his creation of the ideal everyday carry knife with its lightweight and compact design it's perfect for urban environments, crafted from 8CR 13 MOV stainless steel and featuring ergonomic G10 handles, provides both durability and comfort over prolonged use, includes a Boltatron sheath with versatile G-clip. And so love the G10 on here and really everything about it. I think it's a really good looking knife and just feels great. So super excited about that. But we do have one more item and I have to get everything out of the way in order to even fit this on screen. So gonna put all this off to the side and grab our last item, which is valued at $119.95. So we got the WorkSharp Precision Adjust Elite Knife Sharpener. And you can see it still doesn't really fit on screen, but we can see the picture of it here. I guess if I turn it sideways, although that might be kind of a weird viewing experience, but the reason this one's still in the box is I actually already have this exact model, the Precision Adjust Elite. There's a Precision Adjust, which is a little bit cheaper. You get one of the attachments with the three different grits, but you don't get the one with the additional grits, the ceramic stone and the strop attachment. You also don't get the carrying case. And so since I already have this one, I considered maybe setting it up in a different room or even just cannibalizing some of the parts, but I think I'm actually gonna try and trade this either for a knife or 
something else. I have Blade Show coming up, so I'm not spending a lot of money. Also tax season and really just not spending a lot. So it would be cool to turn this into something cool to check out. So I'll probably try to trade this, but I'm really, really happy to see this in the box. Even though I already have it and it's not as exciting for me, I just think it's an awesome item. They send so many knives. It's great to learn how to sharpen yourself if you're not already doing it. And it's a kind of foolproof system. It's very easy to use, not a steep learning curve at all, and just a good way to get in sharp sharpening and learning your angles and things like that. The one thing about it is, is this little arm here does kind of move around a little bit. So I bought this 3D attachment, 3D printed attachment off of Etsy that holds it in place. But otherwise, it's just a great system. I use it myself and I'm very happy with it. $119.95, good value. There is a Pro, which is significantly more expensive. I don't think I'm going to go to that one. If I do upgrade from here, it'll probably be to another brand, different sharpening system. But like I said, I'm really excited to see this in here. I'm glad they're doing kind of different things. And again, maintaining your knives is a cool thing to get into if you're not already doing it. A lot of us collect knives and maybe don't get into sharpening right away and maybe you send it off to sharpening or take it to a shop. But it's really great to just learn it yourself and it's very satisfying and even just kind of fun to do while just watching TV or sitting around listening to something. And so I enjoy it. And I think this is a cool item. I'm excited with the direction they took with this box. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Now, as far as value goes, our premium was $194.95. So decent value there. Overall, we end up at $307.93. And so over 150% of what you pay for the premium box with that overall value. And so that's great as well. I was a little bit disappointed in the standard this month, but the overall package I think is pretty strong. I got two knives that I really like, the sharpener, which I'll probably trade into something, but if I didn't already have it, I would be stoked to get this in the box. And so I think it was still a pretty strong month overall, despite the little bit of a disappointment in the standard, but would love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments. If you want to check out other Going Gear, I've done every premium box that they've ever done. It started back in December of 2021 was the first premium box. I didn't upload that till February when I started my channel, but it does show kind of everything that's ever been in the premium boxes. I've been subscribed a lot longer, but I didn't have a YouTube channel back when I was just doing the standard subscription. But thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely consider liking, commenting, subscribing, or joining the channel as a member where I put out weekly exclusive content and trying to expand what I'm doing on that side as well. Definitely all help the channel out a ton. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great one. Take care.